I find that parents are usually very lonely, uh, helpless, um, although so much that they want to do a lot for their children, they don't know how. It's a very emotional situation to have a child with autism. When we first started, I remember we got a lot of, you know, controversial comments about, well, your teachers haven't even mastered English. How are they going to get the students to, you know, master or at least increase their, their verbal communication? Thirty years ago, there was no exercise needed, and children do not need art and music. Many of the children in the special education in this population didn't get to do this. We emphasize basic needs of the people, daily rhythm of life, eating right, sleeping well, and exercise well. The early days, the staff had to do everything. They cleaned the classrooms, we cleaned, they cleaned the windows, and parents helped too. The Dr. Kitara's Daylight Therapy is not something that only educator can do. She always say, we need your help to the parents. We need to have parents and children and teacher working together. Most of the parents have worked so hard to advocate for their child's needs that they're already ready to learn as much as they possibly can. I think the parents were so dedicated and the staff were also so dedicated. It was amazing. The first day was so traumatic. Both of my sons were all uh, clinging to me, so I left the school crying. Ellery didn't speak, but he really responded to our approach and uh, he quickly learned and able to converse. Oh my God, Ellery bloomed. You can always count on Ethan to be the, the steady one in the class. You know, he's nonverbal, uh, but he was the kind of guy who had such a big heart to always try to please the teacher. The teachers were so good. They were so dedicated. The first annual celebration the kids had I cried because they were doing things that I never thought they could do. After the fourth year, the teacher, Mr. Takamatsu, was his teacher. He said, you're going to have to try the public school. I'm like, oh, you're kidding. I'm not going to bring him to the public school. Amongst the teachers and amongst the talk that, you know, this kid, this child has done so well. We're going to try him back in, you know, the typical schools and eventually went back to, um, typical high school and got his degree. Ellery was able to graduate high school in Weston, so he's come a long way. <laughs> he graduated from the high school and went on to associate degree. So Ellery really accelerated um, the area of his talent. Both of them are able to do a lot of things that we thought they could not do. And sometimes I think the Louie family would be an example of a uh, where the, 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 fa the family and the staff partnership so much. She's like a staff member, and we're like a member of the family. Every time the kids do well in something or improved in something, I tell you, it uplifts your heart. We are doing the right things because children are uh, growing and making progress. Look at the two men. They are now young men, and they are benefiting society. Ellery is working, Ethan is working, and this is already more than I ever imagined. Our lives have changed. My family life has changed. Ellery and Ethan have changed because of the Higashi School. They have made it for the better. the families, they're, they're, there's no off time. We might have their child, but they're thinking about them 24-7.
24-7. The parents and teachers and students are all family, and that is very special for many parents. It's partnership is the experience. Where they're, they're recognizing our hard work, we're recognizing their hard work, and you find some, some common lines of communication. They make something that you think is impossible, possible. This is a, a place where you're gonna see your child grow and make progress. We're not just gonna be spinning our wheels and guessing what we might. We have an idea, we have a philosophy, we have a methodology, and we have a long experience having success. So I, I am so thankful to the Higashi School for doing what they do with both of my sons. And I think we have to really say thank you to everybody who took a piece of this history so that we are here today.